As part of the carrier system, porous and permeable rocks, as well as fractal massive, can act as reservoir rock hosting accumulated fluid. In order to constitute a good reservoir and host large quantities of fluid, few parameters need to be assessed. The porosity, which is the void space in a rock. It is measured in percentage. In the subsurface, these spaces can be filled by hydrocarbons, water, or non-hydrocarbon gases like CO2, H2S, or a combination of these. Typically, many reservoirs have porosity in the range of 20-30%. Not all pores are equal. There are big pores and small pores. Knowledge about the size and the way they are interconnected is very important. The permeability determines how easily the fluid can flow in the reservoir. The standard unit to measure the permeability is a Darcy. Permeability in reservoir rocks may range from 0.1 mD to more than 10 Darcy's. The net to gross, which is a measure of the potentially producible part of the reservoir. It is expressed as a percentage between the producible part of the reservoir, the net, and within the overall thickness of the reservoir, the gross. The hydrocarbon saturation, as it is not common to find a reservoir entirely oil or gas saturated. So most commonly, the pores contain both hydrocarbons and water. The proportion of each phase are usually expressed as percentage. Water and petroleum saturations are not constant across a reservoir. They vary in response to position in the oil column, to the permeability and the mineralogy of the rock. I will now introduce the most common reservoir lithologies. First, two main types of sedimentary rocks can constitute good reservoirs. Siliciclastic rocks and carbonate rocks. Siliciclastic rocks are sedimentary rocks that are almost exclusively silica bearing, either as forms of quartz or either silicate minerals. They are formed by inorganic processes and deposited through some mechanical process. They are classified according to the size of the grains they contain, from boulders to clay as shown on the graph below. Fashes from boulders to fine sand can constitute petroleum reservoirs. Siliciclastic reservoirs account for about 50-60% of the world oil and gas reserves. Carbonate rocks are composed of various carbonate minerals, which are calcite or aragonite and dolostone, precipitated by a variety of organic and inorganic processes. Unlike siliciclastic rocks, carbonates are classified according to their textures. Mudstones are composed of less than 10% of grain and more than 90% of mud. Waxstones contain more than 10% of grain and less than 90% of mud. Backstones and grainstones are grain supported. Grainstone containing no mud. Bound stones are grain supported, but the grains were linked during the deposition phase. They are generally bioconstructed. Crystalline carbonates were recrystallized after deposition, and no depositional features are visible. It has also to be precised that unlike siliciclastics, Carbonates can undergo almost complete transformation on weathering and diagenesis to produce reservoirs from former seals and seals from former potential reservoirs. Limestones and dolomites form some of the largest petroleum reservoirs in the world. 